What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sap. It is February 15th, 2022. This is Fightful Wrestling, and this is a breaking news show. Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes have left WWE, or left AEW, rather. Man, I got so far ahead of myself. They left AEW, have been in talks with WWE. Uh, we broke the story on FightfulSelect.com, and minutes later, Cody Rhodes, Brandy Rhodes, AEW, Tony Khan, all uh, confirmed the news. Whew. Man, there is uh, so much going on right now. So I'm going to do my best to walk you through it. Now, I encourage you guys, please subscribe to FightfulSelect.com. Uh, there is there's incredible detail over there that will continue to be added. Get in your super chats. Get in your humper chats. Leave a thumbs up on this video, which is brought to you by NordVPN. Dot com NordVPN changes your virtual location with just one click, whether you're in AEW or WWE, whether you're living in Jacksonville or Stanford, NordVPN.com slash Fightful lets you change your virtual location and access content from over 59 different countries. Geo restrictions are no longer an issue. You can change that remote location when you're traveling. Maybe, um, I don't know. You're going from Atlanta to New York back and forth you're using that public wi-fi that airport wi-fi that restaurant wi-fi maybe you just don't trust vince mcmahon's wi-fi nordvpn.com slash fightful has you covered gives you peace of mind while traveling it protects your internet traffic as it's routed through a secure encrypted tunnel that protects your data and privacy and you can use it on up to six devices like i don't know maybe maybe you're moving to new york and you're like you know what I'm going to be using my laptop an awful lot. It's on there. How about your tablet? How about your, your home TV? Maybe you're moving to a new home even. Your new smart TV can use NordVPN.com slash Fightful. Not only that, you can subscribe to uh, services in other countries that are cheaper than what you're paying now. You're effectively paying for the service by saving that money and protecting yourself. NordVPN.com slash Fightful. I personally use it, and I love it. Uh, we're getting in Super Chats. We're getting in Humper Chats. Orange Robinson says, this smells fishy. Okay. So, again, full detail, FightfulSelect.com. WWE were aware of this shortly before the announcement. About 15 minutes before the announcement, I had contact with people in WWE, in AEW, near Cody, that uh, were all aware of this. Not only that, I'll tell you straight up the conversation that I had with, with a member of uh, an official in WWE. I said, you hearing the same thing that I'm hearing? And they said, yep, 10 a.m. This is not a work. As of now, it, there, anything could happen one day, two days, 10 days. Cody could come to terms with AEW. It could happen. But this is not a work. Let me reiterate. This is not a work. Three or four weeks ago when I reported that his he, his deal was up, everybody said it was a work. This is not a work. If it is a work, they are working a locker room that has already grown more distant from Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes. That would be toxic. That would be horrible for their company if they were doing that. Uh, and, and listen, in my personal experience in reaching out to Tony Khan, Tony Khan has not been the type of person that will outright lie to you about something. He'll just not answer you if that's the case. We have a bunch of super chats and humper chats. Let's go ahead and get to them. Uh, has Kenny Omega resigned with AEW yet? I'm not aware. I think Dave was on that story. Nerd Guru says, holy hell, Cody versus Seth at Mania. Mania, give me that. Well, I mean, there you go. There's... Uh, <laughs> There's Seth's match if he wants it. Can you see Cody running ROH as a possibility? Um, I've got some news coming on ROH. I don't think they're going to be doing a bunch of contracts up soon. I know it smells fishy. Believe me, as a person who broke the news of, of these Cody stories, I am always suspicious that everything is a work. If you think it's a work, you better believe that by the time I've relayed it to you, I have already ran through multiple scenarios and talked to about 10 people Asking if it is a work. I am a lucha, so just want to say thanks. Magic Spoon Humps. It does. Magicspoon.com slash Fightful. Uh, 
Johnny Ringo says, unless you're exclusively working with Paul Heyman, why go back to WWE and lose your independence? Cody won't be vaulted past Roman right now or in the next six months. Why leave this? Why leave to be fed to Roman? He did say uh, what he's doing this year. We'd be in for a wild ride. Yes, that is true. Um, it's hard for me to believe in this landscape that WWE is going to have some sort of giant creative renaissance. He's going to make the roster more exciting. I was perpetually interested in what Cody Rhodes was doing outside of the Cody verse thing with, with QT Marshall. And I, I even like the, the parts that, that equal the sum there. Like I think QT Marshall's really good. Uh, he's, he's an awesome person to have on that roster. It just wasn't a good angle. However, the will he won't he stuff was really, really good with Cody Rhodes. And I was hoping to see it paid off and see it come to fruition. I feel like in WWE, he will have a pretty straightforward, this is a baby face or this is a heel thing. However, I also feel like Cody Rhodes, if he doesn't want to do the Stardust thing, he ain't doing that shit anymore. He is past that point. And I'm sure he is at a point in his life to where he feels pretty confident that he could say, uh, yeah, I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. Uh, again, I'm going to pro provide you guys some more detail with this, but... Um, FightfulSelect.com. Uh, whoo, boy. This was a tough one to sit on. I learned Friday that this was likely happening. And when, when I messaged people, they didn't know what to say and wouldn't say anything. And when I would ask people, is this good news? Is it bad news? What tipped me off that it was Cody was that multiple people said, it depends on who you ask, that's a good question. And I said, well, that perfectly describes Cody Rhodes on screen, off screen. Depends on who you ask. Is he a, a face or a heel? Is it good or is it bad? That's the reaction that I got backstage. By Saturday, we had people um, asking Cody Rhodes if he was leaving and it was downplayed significantly. So um, I, I don't know how that's going to last for, I mean, no, you don't owe anybody your personal business. You don't. But I mean, what, what I've learned is that it just, it goes better if you just um, avoid <laughs> as opposed to tell somebody something is or isn't happening, but it was downplayed significantly over the weekend to the point where I was like, oh, well, this isn't happening then. Um but it, it became a bit more of an open secret throughout this weekend. Even, even then, people in AEW would not talk about it. This morning was the first time that I got information that WWE for sure was aware of this and that they had been having conversations. Before the announcement was made, I was in contact with people from WWE who knew that an announcement was coming at 10. You wouldn't know that unless you were close to the situation. Big Ticket says, sounds like WWE made an offer Tony Khan couldn't match. He will just be used to take shots at AEW, but wish him the best. And I'm sure that's the that's the thing. Like, WWE is very happy to have their first defection from AEW. I'm sure they're extremely happy that it's an EVP, and specifically Cody Rhodes, who had so many issues with that creative process in the past, and now he's coming back. And they can paint that any way that... They won't even have to paint that any way that they want. The 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 Twitter verse will do it for them, right? Like, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a toxic place over the next few weeks. Um, but I'm I'm I can't sit here and say I'm not excited to see what Cody Rhodes is gonna do in WWE. I I'd like to hope that for some reason somehow, like him leaving WWE helped spearhead a change in, in ways that helped set off a, a chain of events that him coming back. I hope that helps spearhead something because I want to see good, creatively satisfying um, programming there. Andrew says, do you think Tony Khan changes the way he deals with talent? Essentially he let the Cody deal lap so he could negotiate with both parties and get the best deal. Uh, it's, it's not a catch all. The way that Cody's deal happened is not, necessarily the rule he doesn't necessarily let tony doesn't necessarily let deals lapse and then negotiate with them it's it's he's re-signed a lot of people 
and and he's re-signed them well before their deals were up. I've heard of some that got re-signed like like extremely early. Wrestling Rambles, who I met in St. Louis, said Fightful with the news. We appreciate you. Check out Rambles. She does a lot of great watch-alongs of WWE and AEW shows, and uh, she's just wonderful. A shining ray of positivity in wrestling. It makes me very happy every time I see it. Nick says he's been removed from the AEW roster as well. They're notoriously slow at making website updates, so th that they took him down this quickly says a lot. Well, I mean, this has been something that they probably have been planning on for quite some time, right? I mean, he's been a free agent for a while uh, since I since before I reported that story, since the end of the year. And I know a lot of people were like, oh, well, what about those five-year deals? What about this deal? What about the EVP deal? What about this? What about that? There were a lot of misrepresented facts when AEW first started and in the first six months about contracts. And I'm trying to clean them up. I'll have more on FightfulSelect.com. Wild Boy uh, says Cody has to give his first interview to you since he already shouted you out. Fat chance of that happening, buddy. I wish. It'd be nice. Nicholas says, how quickly do you think he shows up in WWE if he goes there? I don't expect him to be in Saudi. I don't think he'll be at the Dusty Classic Finals or anything like that. Alex says, who do you think is the new AEW EVP or Possibles? I don't think anybody will replace him. I don't think they'll they'll have anybody. Despair Shiny Rapid Ash says, even if not a work, you see Cody eventually returning to AEW. Paige Van Zant confronts Brandy, and Brandy said no. Well, this has been this, these wheels have been in motion long before, um, long before that. But I do think Cody Rhodes will eventually uh, return to AEW, whether it be soon or, or years down the line. He knows history. He knows all that stuff. Um, he knows the way to get a reaction. He's good at it, man. He's good at this shit. You can dislike Cody all you all all, all you want. He knows how to get a reaction, man. That's just Mike Preventure says a major role running NXT or the performance center seems like something that would appeal to Cody, something AEW couldn't match any chance. I mean, he's got his own place. I, I don't think that would be the sticking point. I think money would be, but that's me. Isaiah Barry says, why is Cody so distant from the locker room? Not all the locker room, some of them. And why? I don't know. That's a question for him to answer. Matt Kenny, thank you for the super chat. Juan says, Sean, if Cody joins WWE, would he join Raw or SmackDown? Sorry about the Bengals at the Super Bowl. Buddy, I am too. Uh, I think he would probably pop, pop up on Raw. But um, SmackDown on Fox would be interesting. I mean, he's on a cable show now. I think it's... That's a good, good shout. Richie says, I don't think Cody will go to WDB. He wants to run for office in 2024. He'd need to start campaigning now. That is a terrible idea. Him running for office, I don't think, is a good idea. Now, that, that being said, he might hear this and say, oh, it's a bad idea, huh? Then run and win, because that's, that's what Cody does. Stevie says, Think he might be leaving wrestling? I don't think he's ever been hotter than he's been right than he is right now. Will he? Won't he? Woolhat Demon. Did he sell his percentage of ownership in AEW? If so, to who? I don't think he owns a piece of AEW. That's Tony and Shad Khan. But um, I I had heard murmurs of a possible separation agreement that had to be uh, done, but I I've not gained any confirmation on that. Do you know if there's an estimate to what he asked for from AEW compensation-wise? No, I had one person say that speculated something like CM Punk money. Now, aggregators, don't take that and run with it. That was a speculation of that person saying like, oh, I don't think he should get a CM Punk money. Jay Shell says, good Lord, what do we think this means for Roads at the Top, Go Big Show, or their community work? I heard maybe the gun was jumped on announcing that Roads to the Top was renewed because I have not seen anything official from TNT. I have only seen a single report. Like, that's that's it. Like, I've not uh, heard anything else about that show in a while. Pardon me. Got a lot of messages coming in. 
<laughs> Who boy. There's just so much going on. <laughs> Alistair says, obviously there's been much said about Cody and the other EVPs. Is it uh, significant? He didn't mention the bucks in his statement. He did mention the bucks about in his statement. So let's go ahead and read that statement. Where is this man? Cody posted a statement that says, I've loved my time at AEW amazing locker room. Uh, amazing fans, amazing people. The revolution was indeed televised. I've been incredibly lucky to be a part of that. First, I want to thank Tony Khan. He's taken the baton and run with it. It was an honor to work for him and to know him on a personal level. I'm just going to put this up on the screen. That way you guys can also read it. I should have done that before. He's a beautiful soul. Obviously, I need to thank my incredible wife and the mother of my baby girl, Brandy, for all her love and support throughout this journey together and the amazing relationship she fostered with Culture City and the American Heart Association. I also need to thank Nick and Matt Jackson. These two, whether they know it or not, took an undesired and not confident little cub and gifted me the confidence to become a leader of the pack. Kenneth Omega, Chris Jericho, Chicken, we started the fire. I must thank Tim, uh, Keith, Greg, and the amazing production crew who understood and captured the vision with such grace. I can't name everybody, but thank you to Mega, Margaret, uh, Chris Harrington, Jeff Jones, Dana, Tony Schiavone, Burn, Raph, and the hardest worker in the game, QT Marshall, for pop propping me up and kicking me in the ass when I was running on fumes. I must thank all my kiddos, MJF, Jade, Sammy, Darby, Lee, Ricky, Tom, The Guns, Brock, Velvet, Nyla, Aubrey Turner, Vanilla, Solo, Spears, Julia, Anna, Will, Wardlow, Sunny, Fuego, One, and of course, Negative One. And while we're at it, give Jade the Cody Vader. Also need to take a moment to thank the great partners with Warner Media, including Brett, Sam, and the rest of the team. I have so many milestones and beautiful memories of this renaissance through sweat, Blood, tears, literal fire, all that. Left it all on the mat. Everything pales in comparison to the final contribution I was empowered to lead at the company, the community outreach team. In the most inward moments, your outward behavior and your ability to take fame and influence and do something of value for the communities you visit, whether the cameras are on or off, is the highest honor. I'm confident Amanda Huber will lead the department with style. I'm so proud of my creations and contributions and the items I supported or collaborated on with such wonderful professionals. Also, that community outreach team has done some incredible stuff, so I'm very glad that they did that. I will also bring up the, the other statements as we get through some super chats as well, and we'll read those here. Looks like we're going to be here for a little bit. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get to some Humper Chats and some Super Chats from you guys. Again, you can donate those at HumperChats.com. We encourage you guys to support us at FightfulSelect.com. Alistair says that teaches me to skim the statement to get it live. Glad I didn't put that in my report. Buddy, I accidentally had a typo. Instead of Brandy, I wrote <laughs> Tony left AEW. And like 10 people were like, no, 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 no. I was, it was, it was a best this morning. None of us are above uh, errors. Nobody's perfect, buddy. Any change of the Nightmare Factory and AEW relationship? I haven't heard of that yet, but I'm going to ask about it. Peyton says, what are the chances of some other big names leaving like Cody left, like Jericho, Kenny, Lucha Brothers, or Bucks? Um, I don't think any of those specifically will be leaving anytime soon. I think they've all got time on their deal. Johnny Ringo says, unless you're exclusively working with Paul Heyman, why go back to WWE and lose your independence? Cody won't be vaulted past Roman or in the next six months. Oh, I, I read that earlier. Um, some people, I, I'll never fault somebody for making a decision that they believe is better for them and their family. <clears throat> Declan says, if he goes to WWE, do you personally think it's a good move? I can't see it working out long term. He might have a first good first few months, but that's it. Creatively, No. Financially, yes, I would imagine it's probably a pretty good decision. Your guru said that PD, BT Sport tweeted and deleted the Cody GIF. Clever. 
Do you think Brandy wrestles or is it as Cody's valet? I think if anything, she'll be his valet. Johan Benson says, Sean, is there more to this rift with the elite? Has the locker room cooled off on him and that made him easier for AEW to let him go? They wanted to come to terms. Like I'm sure both sides wanted to come to terms. Uh, but yeah, the, the locker room has cooled off on him quite a bit. Now, I don't speak for everybody. I speak for an aggregate of the people that I speak with. And I speak with dozens of people in that company and in the locker room, but I don't think that it is, it speaks for, for everyone at all. Nick says, what, if anything, do you think this might mean for Dustin's future in AEW? He's been key to helping develop their young talent. I asked and I was told there, there hasn't been any adjustment to his deal. Cal says to Fightful, you all are so awesome. Cal, thank you so much. This is an incredibly generous uh, Super Chat. We are publicly funded through Super Chats and FightfulSelect.com, and that allows us to get the news that we post and allows us to uh, pay our writers more. So genuinely, thank you. Kieran says, I wouldn't be shocked if Jericho is out next. Everything he's done of late on AEW screams raw. I don't think so. Not that I've heard of. Ken says they can't subject us to those two Brandy segments and then just leave. That should be a crime. That's funny. That's funny. They're, they're bad. Sullen says Twitter will be toxic. Can't wait to see people who are falling over themselves to say Cody was rubbish now say he's amazing. Buddy, it's going to happen. Those, those toxic Twitter accounts are going to all of a sudden be huge fans of Cody Rhodes. And uh, yeah, that's, that's going to happen. It will absolutely happen. Is Cody a Tony Plant or Spy? Get ready for those, buddy. Get ready for those. Joel Wood says, do you think Cody actually retires in WWE when it's all said and done and takes an office position? I, I think that he'll um, retire in AEW somehow. I think they'll make, make it work. Hank says, any word on a new CBO? I have. That's a good question. Um, I'm going to put that in my notes. Uh, a reminder, guys, I do a Q&A show every week on FightfulSelect.com, and you're allowed to ask one question each. If I don't answer that question, I use it to, uh, or if I don't have the answer to it, I use it to shape what I need to ask about for scoops in the future. So, uh, Hank, I will ask about this. Bishmack says, for all the criticism he gets, credit to Cody for the people he put over in AEW and how much, how most of them were elevated by that win. Yes, Cody put over a lot of people. He made a lot of people look good. Sammy, uh, I mean, MJF. Whew. Harv said, funny if this is a worker storyline so he can remove the clause where he can't compete for the title. This is not a work. Could it turn into one? Yes. Yes. It could turn into one. It is not a work right now. Joel said, if you had to make a call right now, what percentage do you have him joining WWE and what percentage do you have him wrestling at WrestleMania? 70% um, yes, 70% mania. If he signs, he's going to WrestleMania. I mean, that's just the long term. Unless he gets hurt or something, God forbid. But I think that he's headed to WWE. I would, I would love to see AEW make a Hail Mary play and keep Cody Rhodes and have a creatively satisfying angle. I think that would be awesome. <clears throat> Reminder, guys, please leave us a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. JW Pringle says, thanks for being on top of everything. It's like it's your job or something. Hope you have a great day. Thank you guys for the love. I, I really do appreciate it. That's awfully nice of you. Uh, <laughs> Oliver says, Ariel mentioned you in your tweet. You officially made it, bro. Ariel Hawani was a major inspiration for me, so that is always flattering. King Rezzy says, Leo, you think WWE would let Cody run the factory and do Go Big Show? He'd be more useful somewhere else if he decides to leave. Um, also, guys, don't don't be that weird guy that's like, you WWE marks, you AEW marks. Keep that toxicity bullshit out of our chat. If you got a problem with it, there's going to be other places you all can go. I, I, I'm not coming here for that. I don't want that. We let pieces of shit know that they're not welcome in our chat, in, our, um, in, in all that. So... I don't I don't mind missing your five bucks if you're going to be a jerk to our regular viewers in the chat. So, so just don't do that. <clears throat> King Reezy says, Leo, you think WWE would let Cody run the factory and do Go Big Show? He'd be more useful elsewhere, uh, somewhere else if he decides to leave. 
<sighs> he can probably still do his school. I don't think he's going to be on Go Big Show. Justin says, speaking of the statement, did you think that it's a purposeful act that he didn't mention good old JR? Did he not mention JR? Let me let me run through it again. I don't think it was I don't think it was concentrated. He said he couldn't mention everybody, right? Can't possibly do it. Man, I got to catch up on these super chats. Thank you all so much. We had a huge influx of subscribers today, and I wanted to thank you guys for that as well. Kai, thank you very much for your donation. Uh, Jay Blood says, no matter what the details are, this is a bad day for AEW. When the guy behind All In and Founding Father leave, the narrative of the company is gone. It is a bad day for AEW. Um, it is. I think uh, objectively it is. I think that he was a fascinating personality on that show that I was interested in seeing once the, the QT Marshall stuff was, was done. I think that was, I, he became very, very interesting no matter what he was doing. And God damn, can that man cut a promo? Heavy metal. Chris says gutted to see how far we've come from all in. Don't you think this is such a waste? If he goes to WWE again, after all the fighting he did for his name and his dad's pay-per-views again, if he helps strike a creative renaissance in WWE, and who knows what could ever do that, if if that becomes the thing that sends a lightning bolt up Vince McMahon or Bruce Prichard's ass, and all of a sudden there is this massive, just creative renaissance in WWE, and the show is consistently good, and things matter, and wins and losses are important, then no, I don't think it's a waste. And I will never say never in pro wrestling. I know a lot of people say, no, that will never happen. I will never say never. When I broke the story that Cody Rhodes was leaving or that he was a free agent, I had so many people that said, non-story, you overhyped it. He ain't leaving. Now he's leaving. Never say never. It's pro wrestling. It's pro wrestling, guys. Do you think Cody makes it to Raw before Veer? Yes, probably. What if Cody bought ROH? I don't think so. <clears throat> I just don't think so. They, I've, I've got more on ROH coming to Fightful Select soon. Dylan Bishop says, Once Brian and Cole came in, there was a palpable feeling to me they'd grown past the need for Cody. Excited to see who gets some shine in his absence. I disagree. I think you load it up. I think when you've got a roster that has Jericho, MJF, Cole, Brian Danielson, John Moxley, Hangman Page, Kenny Omega. You want to go as deep at the top of the card. The thing that people loved so much about the Attitude Era, one of the things, Triple H, Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mick Foley, The Rock, Kurt Angle. Like you had these six to eight anchors at the top of the card. That's what you want. You always want someone to do that and... Yeah, and Cody winning the TNT title because he couldn't win the, the world title, I think elevated it and made it seem like, well, maybe he'd be the world champion if he could be. Declan says the new EVP better be Double J. <laughs> Matthew says, I wonder why TK wouldn't let Brandy at least see the end of the Paige Van Zant lambert feud. I mean, I, I don't think it's fair to automatically assume that it was Tony Khan that said, okay, well, we're not going to see this through. I'm... I'm I don't necessarily know that that is a thing. So, um, but speaking of, let, let's read Brandy's statement right now. Where is it? Here we go. Let me kill this super chat. A heartfelt thank you to every fan that has supported me in AEW. It was an honor to be the company's first chief brand officer. The thank you list is long, so I'll try not to wander. Thank you to Culture City, Special Olympics Illinois, and the American Heart Association for allowing me to cultivate these amazing partnerships. Thank you to every AEW heel that helped me build a dream community of female fans. Thank you to every AEW wrestler and talent that worked hard to create a great locker room environment. Thank you to the production team, makeup team, and seamstresses. Thank you, Dustin, QT, Jerry Lynn, and Leva Bates for every, every, for every ounce of energy help and encouragement you provided. Thank you to my husband for being that constant rock and partner every single day. Thank you to TNT, TBS, and Warner Media for treating my family like your family. Thank you to Tony Khan for giving me this opportunity and the platform. I move forward with my daughter and this quote in mind, 
We must take the time to define our own path. Too quickly, we can find the world defining it for us. Also, I'll see you on the flippity flop. Um, again, she's talking about Warner Media, TBS. I'll have a whole lot more on FightfulSelect.com. Steal your parents' credit cards now. Subscribe to FightfulSelect.com. Uh, I, again, Brandy Rhodes did some incredible things with community outreach and SCBO. My friend, Jesse the Buckeye, was in the hospital fighting for her life. Brandy had uh, AEW sent her flowers. Uh, when she got home, had her had a diaper bag sent to her house. Did some really incredible things for a close friend of mine. And that's the type of stuff you remember. All that wrestling toxicity bullshit is not uh, something that, that you remember in the long run. Um, Confliction says, any chances of drama they're creating for Roads at the Top? 0.1% chance. Anything's possible, but no. Joel said, Cassidy Haynes' story of Cody and the EVPs last year is looking more relevant now, despite people criticizing his reporting at the time. I think the criticism came because a lot of people kind of knew about it. The rumor was out there, but he's got um, he's uh, he's got really good sources in the company. Stop sleeping on Cassidy Haynes, guys. Bodyslam.net has some really good information. And Cassidy's a great guy, even if you might get shot if you hang out with him. Any chances of the Pillman-esque work? Always a chance. Object 23 says, I find this to be a good sign. I was worried the EVP situation would turn into WCW2 with Cody, Bucks, and Kenny being like Ogan Hall and Nash. But it didn't. But it, it's been three years and it didn't. It wasn't like that. Like you've had you've had a three-year track record of that not being the case. So I don't know. I don't know. Throwback says, Cody leaving AEW is interesting. This could give him time to do something amazing. Wouldn't be shocked to see him on New Japan Strong or New Japan in general. Very excited to see what he does next. I don't know how um, how his relationship is with New Japan, but I would imagine they value their relationship with AEW more than they do with Cody specifically. Peter says, I tell you what, I'm here for Cody to get a title from Lashley, turn up on Dynamite, throw it in the bin next to Tony Schiavone. Imagine. I I mean, as a as a uh, scummy news writer, as they'll say, uh, I love those clickety clacks, all right? Chances he shows up before Veer. Kate, you're late to this joke. You're late to this joke. Uh, so you, some of you may have, Kate, by the way, change your last name on your Google account. What are you, what are you doing? You're supposed to be incognito. <clears throat> we went on the air and we teased the story on Friday. This was the story that Kate and I were talking about being a big one. I know a lot of people thought, oh, that was the Austin thing. I didn't hear about the Austin thing till yesterday. The eyeball emoji on Twitter, it was about Cody. Charlie Sewell says, super bummed. However, if he's happy, I'm happy for him. That's ultimately it, man. Like... You can be bummed creatively. I'm happy for somebody financially if they make a lot of money. Does AEW need a new place to train wrestlers now? Um, No, I'm pretty sure that won't affect anything. New Japan, no promos, long, good matches, thoughts versus WWE. He can wrestle. I mean, we've seen he can wrestle. Um, he should be cutting promos, though. Cody's great at it. Jake says, if he goes back to WWE, I expect this to be like when Dusty went to the WF in 89, SRS is the best. Thank you. That's the fear, right? Like, we look at this and we go, they're going to throw him in. Is something like that going to happen? It ain't a done deal. Like, him possibly heading to WWE is not a deal. So, at least as far as I know. But people in WWE absolutely knew about it. I'm going to apologize if we... Uh... <laughs> Man. Jason says, can we get dining with Dan Housen on a grand scale now as a replacement for Brandy's boring cooking show? I thought Brandy's, uh, I thought the, the, the wine show that Brandy had was good. I thought there was some fun stuff there. Sometimes awkward though. But Dan Housen should absolutely get an AEW show. Isn't it amazing that Cody's storylines were too WWE for AEW, but Tony Khan books a lot like Dusty? He does, but I liked, outside of the, the Cody-verse, QT Marshall stuff, I thought that a lot of his stories were very good. 
the the Malachi Black stuff I liked. Ibby says he and Brandy did a lot with and for AEW since 2016. Uh, they've gone, uh, they've done become big names. Good for them. Think of the endless pyro. If he does end up in WWE, what would his first story be? I would imagine a redemption story. Um, if I were Cody Rhodes, I would say I left in 2016 because I didn't like the way that things were going, and I'm coming back in 2022 because I don't like the way that things are going. He left to make a change. Now he's coming back to make a change. If you're Cody, that's the promo. Creatively, it ain't that interesting. Local Coward says, this means that all elite wrestling has to change to most of the elite wrestling. Damn. Matt Castleberry says, starting the rumor now, Cody's leaving to buy the NWA. I don't think it would work. I mean, maybe he could, would, but I don't think so. Not the real Vince Russo says, what's that on your neck, pal? Vince to Cody, probably. I would imagine that's what Brandy said to Cody. <laughs> Please leave a thumbs up on this video, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Dante says, can't see Jericho staying when his deal is up, which could be an issue. I think AEW needs either Cody or Jericho. I don't think they need, I think they needed Cody more than they needed Jericho at this point. I think they needed Jericho an awful lot a couple of years ago. And I'm not trying to say he's not useful. I just don't think they need him because I think Jericho's done his job. One of Jericho's jobs has been to get the next generation over and ready and, and prepare them. And because Jericho has done a good job with that, I don't think they necessarily need him as much. My cat is trying to get out. So by God, I'm going to let him out. I'm not going to let him sit in here and suffer during this stream. My cat just defected to WWE. Oh, boy. Throwback says, if Cody does go to WWE, do you see him helping NXT like his dad did? The amount of respect Cody had making an impact could help shape the next generation of wrestlers. Cody versus Ciampa, yes, please. Oh, that'd be that'd be a great match. I think they've wrestled before. But um, no, I think that he would um, end up doing his own thing, carving his own path. Woolhat Demon says, wouldn't it be funny if Cody shows up on Corgan's show to compete for the NWA title and a three-way versus Aldis and Cardona? I mean, uh, him and Cardona is one of his best friends, as far as I know. When's the plane for Sands of Time leave? I think uh, Thursday, Friday. She says, Leva Bates would be my pick for the next CBO. You know what? Leva would probably be a really good idea. When I went there to do the haircut gimmick, she was the, the point of contact for bringing me in and, and making sure I was in the right place, making sure a barber came and uh, straightened me up a little bit. She has been working right underneath Brandy Rhodes for a long time. A lot of people don't know that, but Leva Bates Blue Pants has been uh, working right underneath Brandy for a while, as far as I know. In Simmons says, Cody leaving is a huge loss. He had me with that promo on the ladder. Huge loss to the TNT title picture. That is. That is a massive loss to the TNT title picture. J.W. Pringle says, smart move on his part. Create something amazing. And when your contract is up and you're still on top, take a bow and leave them wanting more. If you want in a year or two, come back to a standing ovation. Captain Solo says, Cody leaving AEW is a work. He's not going back to WWE to be Stardust and Brandy, Brandy Dust. This is an AEW heel turn. That's all. Captain Solo, you are wrong. I had points of contact in WWE uh, confirming to me that he had had conversations with them. Nicholas says, I personally can't wait to hear Smoke and Mirrors. He owns his theme song. He can use that theme song. Like, Downstate would, would do it. Isn't Ro season two of Rose at the Top already confirmed? Go look and see if there's been a TNT official announcement or if there's just been a report. Just saying. Van Twinblade says, Dan Housen kidnapped Shivani and Mark Henry and starts doing all the interviews himself. <laughs> Juan says that cat's a Sean's cat is going to join AEW to replace Cody. My cat's name is Kofi. So, I mean, there you go. Thank you to MDPTG for the donation and says is there a chance Kenny leaves too. Uh, I don't think imminently. I feel like he resigns. Raphael says a few years ago yesterday, I tweeted, there's no way in hell McGregor fights Mayweather. How'd that play out for me? Uh, like I said, played out for us. Great. We got those uh, clickety clacks. 
could you see Cody filing or filling a Triple H role in NXT? Mm. The Triple H role is one I could see him filling. I don't know about the Dusty role uh, because that one's a little bit different, but maybe uh, that that's very interesting. Guys, this show is by NordVPN.com slash Fightful. Change your virtual location with just one click with NordVPN.com slash Fightful. Daniel says that they have Cody's salary available. Whoops. Where is this? Where is this? Man. Got to pull up these donations again. Messed up on me. If they have Cody's salary available and uh, where to where to spend it, would you spend it on a big name or spend it on some up and coming talent, or does it not really work that way? Uh, do you have any baseball insider info? I want the lockout to end. I have some basketball inside info. I get NBA scoops every so often, but that's not my job to break him. But um, yeah, I I don't. I don't get any baseball scoops. I wish I did. I do want that lockout to end. I'm happy for the DH. I think you kind of disperse that salary among re-signing people. I mean, that that alleviates your, your payroll, so to speak, quite a bit. Jose Bivian says, this has to move with one eye on the future by WWE, right? Cody helped sign wrestlers. WWE reportedly have an interest in like MJF, Wardlow, and Jade. MJF's spoken openly. He's, he's open to going to WWE if the money's there. And yes, strategic move. You bring in a John Calipari to coach your team. That way he can recruit. Maybe he can recruit. Maybe not. Irene says, with Cody gone, who now fulfills his role in the roster, introducing new talent and as a bridge to the main event, taking big losses while staying strong? If Jericho's there for a while, I would imagine maybe him. That's what, that's what I would imagine. Thank you to Luke from Wrestle Talk for effectively raiding our, our stream. I appreciate that. A raid is on Twitch when your stream ends and you send people over here. So we greatly appreciate that. Amir says, Road at the Top is going to be real interesting next season. But it'd be real interesting if there was a next season. News on Pharaoh and Fuego too. Um, I sarcastically reached out to Cody Rhodes' representation about Fuego too and said, is he still with AEW? And I got a no comment back, which popped me. That was very funny. That's very funny. Hector says, hey, Sean, where would you have Cody go? WWE or ROH V2? WWE, I haven't heard anything about ROH V2 being anything substantial or, or uh, like, I, I don't want to say substantial. I, I've heard it's effectively a super indie as of now. And I know at least one person who's going to do some work there. Two people. There you go. Ryan Largent says, Meltzer reported road season two. Is that false? I've not heard anything beyond that about there actually being a season two. Eric says, you've become the woge of wrestling. Thank you for all your hard work. Do you think AEW will work this into some storyline with another talent like Dustin or Ricky? I do, and thank you for the compliment. I really think that they will uh, because they have a really good habit of playing off of wrestling history, not just history. You got to reference it. If you're sitting there taking all these shots at WWE and references at WWE in these promos, you got to you got to poke it yourself a little bit. You got to be self-aware. So I think they will. Dan Lambert can say that Brandy Rhodes would rather leave than fight Paige Van Zant. Come on, man. That's a Dan Lambert Dan Lambert promo that writes itself and hopefully you can avoid some of the Controversial shit that you say. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Big J says, holy shit, what a morning. First locking myself out of the house while well, 12 degrees, then Cody leaves. Thanks, SRS. What a morning. Hope you're okay, buddy. Football then under with Zach says, hey, Sean, would there be any ripple effect if Cody joins WWE? I don't see it affecting anything on the AEW side, but anything could happen. Maybe as far as money goes, yeah. I mean, okay, I'll put it this way. Ethan Page left Impact Wrestling because they didn't pay him anywhere near what he wanted or what he deserved, and he had made a lot of offers um, to work with them in like social media and a lot of stuff like that. I had Rohit Raju, who also left 
Impact Wrestling for the same reason uh, recently. Tell me off camera, Ethan Page is the reason a lot of us got raises. A significant reason why they got raises and hotels paid for is because Ethan Page stood up and said, we deserve this. We deserve to be paid more. I deserve to be paid more. And I'm willing to leave to show that. And uh, I had multiple people, including Rohit Raju on camera this week, say, if he didn't do that, maybe that wouldn't happen. So, maybe, um, maybe this will end up getting people paid more, or maybe it won't do anything. I, I don't know. I don't know what people are getting paid in AEW to gauge that. So, Bacon Rasher says, just wanted to mention something on the NFL. Been a Bengals fan since going to watch them at Wembley. Proper disappointed of the result. Cody leaving AEW, not so disappointed. Cody versus uh, Cardona in a in NWA. I think that's a real possibility. I don't think that's an accident now that all that's coming along. And the Bengals stuff, buddy, I'm I'm happy they were there. I, it, it was a happy to be there situation for the Bengals. They showed us it was possible after being a Bengals fan for so long and not having any hope. Ian Hunter says a little off topic, but any chance Brandy got Josh Alexander's number and called him before she left. His contract is done, he said. His contract was done, um, but that line was run by everybody and was all good. Was all good. Joey says, if Cody signs with WWE long-term, do you think it impacts the MJF bidding war since WWE apparently won him already? Of course they won him, but that's that's two more years. Two more years. Uh, does it affect the M MJF bidding war? Possibly. I just don't know if it's positively or negatively. Joel says, would Cody signing with WWE do anything for the morale? I know you reported morale wasn't good there. Nope. Maybe, maybe a boost to people saying like, all right, they're making a play for this. But um, WWE morale has been very bad. Very bad. A reminder, guys, FightfulSelect.com. I'm going to be adding to this story. I mean, quite frankly, I've been on here for 48 minutes kind of gathering text messages up and, and messages up from people that are sending me additional information. So we will have more information on this situation. FightfulSelect.com, we break all of our exclusive news over there. As long as it's not like a release or something criminal related, uh, we will, or, or somebody losing their job, against their will or something. We'll break that news over there on Fightful Select. We have exclusive news every single day, and we have at least seven weekly shows. We have an additional Raw review and SmackDown review. We have a Q&A show with me every week. I do about a 10 to 15, 20-minute podcast breaking down exclusive news. We have the Weekender. If you're ever saying, why don't you cover GCW, 205 Live, Impact, UK, the Weekender does that. FightfulSelect.com. Cody Willis says, I want to see a Jarrett Conrad Rhodes third brand. I don't think that's happening. I wouldn't count on that, friend. Alex Silva says, they must have given Cody, given Cody a role in creative in WWE and maybe one title run and a lot of money. The only way I see him going back to WWE, who knows? I haven't heard of anybody having a title run worked into their deal. Ahmed, thank you for the donation. Cody versus Rollins is something we need. I can't wait for that promo. Douglas says, how long until TK says Cody and Brandy can't wrestle? Um, I mean, I ain't touching that with a 10-foot pole, buddy. I ain't touching that with a 10-foot pole. I think Cody's a fantastic wrestler. I think Brandy, as Cody's second especially, has been fantastic. Nate says, can't really picture Cody and Brandy back in WWE. Thanks for the cameo. It was great. Buy an SRS cameo for the Kidders and Dogwoods, everyone. Guys, my pinned tweet on Twitter, I have started a cameo. I never thought I was going to do that, but um, I, I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I could donate some money. I could donate all the money to local animal shelters in my area. That's something I'm very, very passionate about. We did an Outside the Ring podcast uh, about cats last week where we talked to a vet veterinarian. I am very, very passionate about this. So uh, please get a cameo. 100% of the proceeds go to local animal shelters in my area. Uh, it would mean an awful lot to me if you did. I'll bury you. I'll put you over. Uh, as long as it's not like, you know, a, a sponsor read or something, I'll do a, about anything on there as long as it'll help those 
little kitties and doggos. Mark says, uh, is he 100% going to WWE? No, not 100%. Ty says, excited for Cody at WWE. A little off track with Mania in Texas. Do you see Taker showing up in ring? Nope, I think he's done. I think he's done appearing. I think he's done wrestling. I don't think he's uh, doing that anymore. I think he's he's finished. Finished. Guys, we're heading down the home stretch. Get in your super chats. Get in your humper chats. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's read AEW statement, Tony Khan statement. Tony Khan said, Cody and Brandy Rhodes were integral to the launch of All Elite Wrestling. Cody's ability combined with his boldness and passion for our industry and his love for community outreach helped AEW deliver on our mission to give fans what they needed for far too long, something new, innovative, and lasting. Brandy helped us shape the AEW story, and I appreciate how hard she fought for us both in the ring and out of the ring, competing with the women's division while advancing our efforts at inclusion and civic causes, including great partnerships with Culture City and the American Heart Association. I have immense and respect and appreciation for Cody and Brandy. Wish them both the best as they move on from AEW. Thank you, Cody and Brandy. Now, for those that are not here, uh, Cody's deal expired, or haven't been here. Cody's deal expired at the end of the year. They negotiated. They could not come to terms. As of right now, this is not a work. If it is a work, they are getting WWE involved because WWE was well aware of the announcement and they've had talks with, with Cody Rhodes. And if WWE is working with AEW, that's gonna be have to that's gonna have to be something that they would disclose uh to their public shareholders. Whew. Lots of stuff going on. Please subscribe to fightfulselect.com. My last shill. There is no no compete, by the way. The contract's up. He can appear on NXT tonight if he wants. Unless, hold on, unless they signed a separation agreement that um that I'll, that facilitated that. That is possible. Because of his status as an EVP, it is possible. I'm not saying it happened. It is possible that they had to sign a separation agreement that would have put some time between that. Mark O'Brien says, Thanks, Sean. Myself and a buddy are over to Mania from Ireland for the full week in Dallas. Fancy a few pints with us. I don't drink alcohol. I will be around. I think I'm going to actually come home before Mania so I can do the review. But I should be there throughout the week. But uh, hopefully I see you there. Mike Straw says, wanted to show some support because you deserve it. Sat bombs. Also, the AEW ro game roster is taking a major hit. It's going to be so light now. Man. <laughs> now WD2K is like, son of a bitch. It happens both ways. Both ways. Oh, guys, thank you all so much. Please leave a thumbs up on this video. Uh, thank you. Uh, one of our biggest streams we've ever done. We greatly appreciate you guys. Keep it locked. Fightful.com. We're out.